Okay, there's one more trick with regard to manipulating more than one studio send at once. And I'm going to again select some channels here. Just for the sake of argument, I'm going to select only a few and uh, specialized channels by using the command or control key on a Windows machine to select the channels that I want. Now I'm going to say for these channels that I've selected, I want to raise the level, for example, of these studio sends in a relative way. So I can do that by selecting those channels and then right clicking on the Studio One channel here and then doing Change Studio Sends Levels. That creates a little dialog here in which I can either change those selected studio sends in a relative way or an absolute way. So right now they're set to relative mode. So it's set to zero dB and I can either raise or lower that level and it will either raise, lower, uh, raise or lower the level based on what the level is now for each respective studio channel. So if I raise the level, it will raise the level of those channels relatively to what they were before. If I lower them, it'll lower them again relative to what they were before I touched it. If I go into absolute mode by unchecking this box, it will take all those selected studio sends and now I've got absolute control of the level. It's now at zero dB. If I want to raise that, I can. And now they're all set to the same level, negative 12.62 for the ones that I've selected here. And if I don't hit OK, I can still go back to the relative mode and it'll remember where I left it. So I left it at changing it to negative 18 dB relative to their original levels. And it also remember the absolute mode I'd set it to, the negative 12.62 dB. But whatever I do, once I hit OK, then it forgets all that, of course, and you're starting over. So I'm just going to leave it at relative negative 18 dB. And that's the way you can change a bunch of different Studio Sense levels all at once very easily. And in the next video, I'll start to talk about the click and how you can control where the click goes and what level it's at.